The Confession by She was young and beautiful, but now she is battered and dead. She is not the first and she will not be the last. I lay awake at nights thinking about my next victim. Maybe she will be the beautiful blonde that babysits near the little store and walks down the dark alley each evening about seven. Or maybe she will be the shapely blue-eyed brunette that said no when I asked her for a date in high school. But maybe it will not be either. But I shall cut off her female parts and deposit them for the whole city to see. So don't make it easy for me. Keep your sisters, daughters, and wives off the streets and alleys. Miss Bates was stupid. She went to the slaughter like a lamb. She did not put up a struggle. But I did. It was a ball. I first pulled the middle wire from the distributor. Then I waited for her in the library and followed her out after about two minutes. The battery must have been about dead by then. Then I offered to help. She was very willing to talk to me. I told her that my car was down the street and that I would give her a lift home. When we were away from the library walking, I said it was about time. She asked me about time for what? I said it was about time for her to die. I grabbed her around the neck with my hand over her mouth and my other hand with a small knife at her throat. She went very willingly. Her breast felt warm and firm under my hands, but only one thing was on my mind, making her pay for the brush-offs that she had given me during the years prior. She died hard. She squirmed and shook as I choked her, and her lips twitched. She let out a scream once, and I kicked her head to shut her up. I plunged the knife into her and it broke. Then I finished the job by cutting her throat. I am not sick. I am insane. But that will not stop the game. This letter should be published for all to read it. It just might save that girl in the alley, but that's up to you. It will be on your conscience, not mine. Yes, I did make that call to you also. It was just a warning. Beware. I am stalking your girls now. CC, Chief of Police, Enterprise. Bates had to die. Bates had to die. There will be more. The Riverside Desktop Poem Sick of living, unwilling to die Cut, clean, if red, clean Blood spurting, dripping, spilling All over her new dress Oh well, it was red anyway Life draining into an uncertain death She won't die This time someone will find her. Just wait till next time. R. H. San Francisco Examiner, San Francisco Chronicle, and Vallejo Times Herald. Dear Editor, This is the murderer of two teenagers last Christmas at Lake Herman plus the girl on the 4th of July near the golf course in Vallejo. To prove I killed them, I shall state some facts which only I and the police know. Christmas 1. Brand name of ammo Super X 2. 10 shots were fired 3. The boy was on his back with his feet to the car 4. The girl was on her right side, feet to the west. 4th July 1. Girl was wearing patterned slacks. 2. The boy was also shot in the knee. 3. Three brand name of ammo was Western. Over. Here is part of a cipher. The other two parts of the cipher are being mailed to the editors of the Vallejo Times and San Francisco Examiner. 
I want you to print this cipher on the front page of your paper. And this cipher is my identity. If you do not print this cipher by the afternoon of Friday, 1st of August, 69, I will go on a kill rampage Friday night. I will cruise around all weekend killing lone people in the night, then move on to kill again until I end up with a dozen people over the weekend. Cypher Translation I like killing people because it is so much fun. It is more fun than killing wild game in the forest because man is the most dangerous animal of all. To kill something gives me the most thrilling experience. It is even better than getting your rocks off with a girl. The best part of it is that when I die I will be reborn in paradise and all the I have killed will become my slaves. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow down or stop my collecting of slaves for my afterlife. E B E O R I E T E M E T H H P I T I This is the Zodiac speaking. Dear Editor, this is the Zodiac speaking. In answer to your asking for more details about the good times I had in Vallejo, I shall be very happy to supply even more material. By the way, are the police having a good time with the code? If not, tell them to cheer up. When they do crack it, they will have me. On the 4th of July, I did not open the car door. The window was already down. The boy was originally sitting in the front seat when I began firing. When I fired the first shot at his head, he leaped backwards at the same time, thus spoiling my aim. He ended up in the back seat, then the floor in the back, thrashing out very violently with his legs. That's how I shot him in the knee. I did not leave the scene of the killing with squealing tires and racing engine, as described in the Vallejo paper. I drove away quite slowly, so as not to draw attention to my car. The man who told the police that my car was brown was a negro, about 40 through 45, rather shabbily dressed. I was at this phone booth having some fun with the Vallejo cops when he was walking by. When I hung the phone up, the damn thing began to ring, and that drew his attention towards me and my car. Last Christmas In that episode, the police were wondering as to how I could shoot and hit my victims in the dark. They did not openly state this, but implied by saying it was a well-lit night and I could see the silhouettes on the horizon. Bullshit. That area is surrounded by high hills and trees. What I did was tape a small pencil flashlight to the barrel of my gun. If you notice, in the center of the beam of light, if you aim it at a wall or a ceiling, you will see a black or dark spot in the center of the circle of light, about three to six inches across. When taped to a gun barrel, the bullet will strike exactly in the center of the black dot in the light. All I had to do was spray them as if it was a water hose. There was no need to use the gun sights. I was not happy to see that I did not get the front page coverage. No address. By knife. Vallejo, 12, 20, 68, 7, 4, 69. September 27th, 69, 6.30.
by knife. School children make nice targets. This is the Zodiac speaking. I am the murderer of the taxi driver over by Washington Street and Maple Street last night. To prove this, here is a blood-stained piece of his shirt. I am the same man who did the people in the North Bay area. The San Francisco police could have caught me last night had they searched the park properly instead of holding road races with their motorcycles seeing who could make the most noise. The car drivers should have just parked their cars and sat there quietly waiting for me to come out of cover. School children make nice targets. I think I shall wipe out a school bus some morning. Just shoot out the front tire and pick off the kitties as they come bouncing out. I get awfully lonely. This is the Zodiac speaking. I thought you would need a good laugh before you hear the bad news. You won't get the news for a while yet. P.S. Could you print this new cipher on your front page? I get awfully lonely when I am ignored. So lonely I could do my thing. And I can't do a thing with it. December. July. August, September, October, equals 7. Bus Bomb Letter This is the Zodiac speaking. Up to the end of October, I have killed seven people. I have grown rather angry with the police for their telling lies about me. So I shall change the way of the collecting of slaves. I shall no longer announce to anyone. When I commit my murders, they shall look like routine robberies, killings of anger, plus a few fake accidents, etc. The police shall never catch me because I have been too clever for them. 1. I look like the description passed out only when I do my thing. The rest of the time, I look entirely different. I shall not tell you what my disguise consists of when I kill. 2. As of yet, I have left no fingerprints behind me, contrary to what the police say in my killings. I wear transparent fingertip guards. All it is is two coats of airplane cement coated on my fingertips, quite unnoticeable, plus very effective. 3. My killing tools have been bought in through the mail order outfits before the ban went into effect. Except one, it was bought in out of state. So as you can see, the police don't have much to work on. If you wonder why I was wiping the cab down, I was leaving fake clues for the police to run all over town with. As one might say, I gave the cops some busy work to do to keep them happy. I enjoy needling the blue pigs. Hey blue pig, I was in the park. You were using fire trucks to mask the sound of your cruising prowl cars. The dogs never came within two blocks of me. They were to the west. There was only two groups of parking about ten minutes apart. Then the motorcycles went by about 150 feet away going from the south to northwest. P.S. Two cops pulled a goof about three minutes after I left the cab. I was walking down the hill to the park when this cop car pulled up and one of them called me over and asked if I'd seen anyone acting suspicious or strange in the last five to ten minutes. And I said yes. There was this man who was running by waving a gun and the cops peeled rubber and went around the corner as I directed them. I disappeared into the park, a block and a half away, never to be seen again. Must print in paper. Hey pig, doesn't it rile you up to have your nose rubbed in your boo-boos? If you cops think I'm going to take on a bus the way I stated I was, you deserve to have holes in your head.
Take one bag of ammonium nitrate fertilizer and one gallon of stove oil and dump a few bags of gravel on top, then set the shit off. We'll positively ventilate anything that should be in the way of the blast. The death machine is already made. I would have sent you pictures, but you would be nasty enough to trace them back to the developer, then to me, so I shall describe my masterpiece to you. The nice part of it is all the parts can be bought in the open market with no questions asked. One battery powered clock will run for approximately one year. One photoelectric switch. Two copper leaf springs. Two six volt car batteries. One flashlight bulb plus reflector. One mirror. Two 18-inch cardboard tubes, black with shoe polish inside and out. Mirror. Bus. Bombs. One bag each. Six-volt battery. Six-volt battery. Bus goes bang, car passes by okay. The system checks out from one end to the other in my tests. What you do not know is whether the death machine is at the site or whether it is being stored in my basement for future use. I think you do not have the manpower to stop this one by continually searching the roadsides looking for this thing. Plus it won't do to reroute or reschedule the buses because the bomb can be adapted to new conditions. Have fun. By the way, it could be rather messy if you try to bluff me. P.S. Be sure to print the part I marked out on page 3 or I shall do my thing. To prove that I am the Zodiac, ask the Vallejo cop about my electric gun sight, which I used to start my collecting of slaves. Happy Christmas. Dear Melvin, This is the Zodiac speaking. I wish you a happy Christmas. The one thing I ask of you is this, please help me. I cannot reach out because of this thing in me won't let me. I am finding it extremely difficult to keep in check. I am afraid I will lose control again and take my ninth and possibly tenth victim. Please help me, I am drowning. At the moment the children are safe from the bomb because it is so massive to dig in and the trigger mechanism requires so much work to get it adjusted just right. But if I hold back too long from no nine, I will lose complete, all, control of myself and set the bomb up. Please help me, I cannot remain in control for much longer. Sunlight in early morning This is the Zodiac speaking. By the way, have you cracked the last cipher I sent you? My name is... I am mildly curious as to how much money you have on my head now. I hope you do not think that I was the one who wiped out that blue meanie with the bomb at the cop station. Even though I talked about killing school children with one, it just wouldn't do to move in on someone else's territory. But there is more glory in killing a cop than a kid, because a cop can shoot back. I have killed ten people to date. It would have been a lot more except that my bus bomb was a dud. I was swamped out by the rain we had a while back. The new bomb is set up like this. A and B are photoelectric switches. When the sunbeam is broken, A closes circuit, B opens, which makes B the cloudy day disconnect so the bomb won't go off by accident. P.S. I hope you have fun trying to figure out who I killed. Zodiac 10 SFPD 0 When I have my blast. 
I hope you enjoy yourselves when I have my blast. P.S. on back. If you do not want me to have this blast, you must do two things. One, tell everybody about the bus bomb with all the details. Two, I would like to see some nice Zodiac buttons wandering about town. Everyone else has buttons, like Peace Symbol, Black Power, Melvin Eats Blubber, etc. Well, it would cheer me up considerably if I saw a lot of people wearing my button. Please, no nasty ones like Melvin's. Thank you. This code will tell you where the bomb is set. This is the Zodiac speaking. I have become very upset with the people in the San Fran Bay Area. They have not complied with my wishes for them to wear some nice Zodiac logo buttons. I promised to punish them if they did not comply by annihilating a full school bus. But now school is out for summer, so I punished them in another way. I shot a man sitting in a parked car with a 38. Zodiac 12 SFPD 0 The map coupled with this code will tell you where the bomb is set. You have until next fall to dig it up. Woman and her baby. This is the Zodiac speaking. I am rather unhappy because you people will not wear some nice Zodiac logo buttons. So I now have a little list. Starting with the woman and her baby that I gave a rather interesting ride for a couple hours one evening a few months back. That ended in my burning her car where I found them. Tut, 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 tut. This is the Zodiac speaking. Being that you will not wear some nice Zodiac logo buttons, how about wearing some nasty Zodiac logo buttons? Or any type of Zodiac logo buttons you can think up. If you do not wear any type of Zodiac logo buttons, I shall, on top of everything else, Torture all 13 of my slaves I have waiting for me in paradise. Some I shall tie over ant hills and watch them scream and twitch and squirm. Others shall have pine splinters driven under their nails and then burned. Others shall be placed in cages and fed salt beef until they are gorged. Then I shall listen to their pleas for water and I shall laugh at them. Others will be hanged by their thumbs and burn in the sun. Then I will rub them down with deep heat to warm them up. Others I shall skin them alive and let them run around screaming. And all billiard players I shall have them play in a darkened dungeon cell with crooked cues and twisted shoes. Yes, I shall have great fun inflicting the most delicious pain to my slaves. SFPD Zero Zodiac 13 As some day it may happen that a victim must be found, I've got a little list. I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground, who would never be missed, who would never be missed. There is the pestilential nuisances who write for autographs, all people who have flabby hands and irritating laughs. All children who are up in dates and implore you with I'm plat. All people who are shaking hands shake hands like that. And all third persons who with unspoiling take those who insist. 
they none of them be missed. they none of them be missed. There's a banjo serenader and the others of his race and the piano organist. I got him on the list. All people who eat peppermint and fomfit in your face, they would never be missed. They would never be missed. And the idiot who phrases with enthusiastic tone of centuries, but this in every country but his own. And the lady from the provinces who dress like a guy, who doesn't cry in the singular abnormally the girl who never kissed. I don't think she would be missed. I'm sure she wouldn't be missed. And that nice empress that is rather rife, the judicial hummerist, I've got him on the list. All funny fellows, comic men and clowns of private life. They'd none of them be missed. They'd none of them be missed. And uncompromising kinds such as whatchamacallit, thingamabob, and likewise. Well, never mind. And tut, 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 tut. And what's his name? And you know who. But the task of filling up the blanks I rather leave up to you. But it doesn't really matter whom you place upon the list, for none of them will be missed. None of them will be missed. P.S. The Mount Diablo Code concerns radians and number inches along the radians. You'll hate me. Monday, October 5th, 1970. San Francisco Chronicle Dear Editor, You'll hate me, but I've got to tell you. The pace isn't any slower. In fact, it's just one big 13. Some of them fought. It was horrible. P.S. There are reports city police pig cops are closing in on me. F.K. I'm crack proof. What is the price tag now? Zodiac. Halloween card. Paradise. Slaves. By fire. By gun. By knife. By rope. Peekaboo. You are doomed. Fourteen. Boo. Z. I am crack proof. This is the Zodiac speaking. Like I have always said, I am crack proof. If the blue meanies are ever going to catch me, they had best get off their fat asses and do something. Because the longer they fiddle and fart around, the more slaves I will collect for my afterlife. I do have to give them credit for stumbling across my riverside activity, but they are only finding the easy ones. There are a hell of a lot more down there. The reason I'm writing to the Times is this. They don't bury me on the back pages like some of the others. SFPD Zero Zodiac Seventeen Plus Peek Through the Pines Sierra Club Around in the Snow Sought Victim Twelve Peek through the pines, past Lake Tahoe areas. Exorcist I saw and think The Exorcist was the best satirical comedy that I have ever seen. Signed Yours truly. He plunged himself into the billowy wave, and an echo arose from the suicide's grave. 
Tit Willow. Tit Willow. Tit Willow. P.S. If I do not see this note in your paper, I will do something nasty, which you know I'm capable of doing. Me, 37, SFPD, 0. Slay card. Dear Mr. Editor, did you know that the initials S-L-A-Y, Symbionese Liberation Army, spell SLA, an old Norse word meaning kill? A friend. Badlands card. Editor, San Francisco Chronicle, 5th in Mission, San Francisco. Sirs, I would like to express my consternation concerning your poor taste and lack of sympathy for the public, as evidenced by your running of the ads for the movie Badlands, featuring the blurb, in 1959, most people were killing time. Kit and Holly were killing people. In light of recent events, this kind of murder glorification can only be deplorable at best. Not that glorification of violence was ever justifiable. Why don't you show some concern for public sensibilities and cut the ad? A citizen... Red Phantom Editor Put Marco back in the hellhole from whence it came. He has a serious psychological disorder. Always needs to feel superior. I suggest you refer him to a shrink. Meanwhile, cancel the Count Marco column. Since the Count can write anonymously, so can I. The Red Phantom, Red with Rage.